Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is a pen box project again and it's for holding two pens this time for some of the gift sets that I've been making. I've been making a junior gentleman rollerball and fountain pen gift set um, but I didn't have a presentation box for them to be uh, to be given away in. Um, now I have made pen boxes in the past and I've done these little ones out of two by fours um, with a little bit of mahogany on the side and it's just a routed groove in the middle there for the pen to sit in and they're, you know, they're, they're quite nice but for these ones I wanted it to be a flat one so this is the pen box that we've made I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it a bit better it's got some decorative hardware on it and it's got the two pens sitting inside now it's a solid at the end so we've, we've routed out the edges using the router table there um, hope you enjoyed this one um, I will see you guys at the end enjoy I was just setting the uh, the stop block there to about seven inches on the table saw sled. So with the stop block set, I can uh, cut these boards down now to the final width. Now off camera, I ripped the two by four down its length to give me the top and the bottom of the pen box, but I forgot to turn the camera on. It's that bit of footage missing. So hanging up the table saw sled, I can set my fence now to the, the correct width of the pen box, which is about seven centimeters. And just moving the camera around for another shot here. Um, there's the works vent, and just look at the sky. Stunning, cold though. So now it's on to the group right and out of the grooves with the um, with the router table. I've got a half inch square cutter bit in the router and I've set up a couple of stop blocks at each end. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can see all that sawdust flying about there. Um, over time that builds up between the wood and the stop block and you get a false register. So you've got to make sure that you keep clearing that dust away with your finger or a little screwdriver. Or that every time that you raise your bit up a little bit you'll end up with steps inside your groove. So just make sure that when you're doing that to clear away the debris as you're going. Having flipped the, uh, the board around, as you can see now that I've got two grooves now that are evenly spaced in the box. And now I'm just raising up the blade of the router cutter a little bit. I'm just going to ease that up each time a little bit, cut out the grooves, raise it up a little bit more until I get to about 17. And you can see my breath in the, uh, in the shot there. It's freezing cold outside tonight.
So on to sanding now for the uh, the first part with the power sander, and then I'm going to sand the rest of it by hand. I'm going to start it off at 400 grit, and then I'm going to put uh, jump up then to 600 grit. I just put my gloves on now, gonna hit uh, and I put a little bit of Danish oil onto the box now just to bring out the colour of the pine. And now it's on to the spray varnish. Now I'm gonna give this about four or five coats of spray varnish and I'm gonna sand in between with 600 grit. And the finished result gives you a really glass-like finish, so it's really worth the time and effort to do it. So I picked up these corner pieces from um, from China. Um, and they're just held in place with these really tiny small little nails which are really fiddly to do uh, but luckily I'm only using pine so you can just force those in just to hold it in place then just tap it down with a hammer I'm just adding the hinges on the back now. Um, really fiddly to do with these screws, are tiny, uh, but a, a quick countersink with a really small drill bit gives you a bit of a pilot hole just to, to help along with that. And I'm just adding the front clasp, but it was here that I realised that I put the lid on back to front. Um, what I wanted to do was put the hinges on that side because of that big knot right in the middle. That was my initial plan, but that was meant to be the back of the box. Uh, but I wasn't really paying attention, and it is what it is. And I couldn't take it off now because of all the, all the little holes in the back where the hinges are. So I had to be really careful not to split it when I was putting that piece in. And that's it, it's all done, and there's the two pens that are going in it now, one's a fountain pen, one's a roller ball, and that's a nice little gift box. There's some photographs now with the finished product. Hope you enjoyed that one guys, cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Router group for the pen to sit in, I'm going to leave a little video 
card for a link to the That's Crap Do It Again. Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today's project is a, pen, a decorative pen box uh, for holding some gift box. Uh, gift box? It is a gift box. Oh my god. 